Well, let's check in on KVD taking a hiatus from retirement to fish Redcrest. And he has great history. He won a classic here at Lay Lake back in 2010. So good to have him back out here. Just announced he's going to have a TV show, The Van Dam Experience. It'll be starting to air next year. Well, we're glad to have him on our TV show. Absolutely. Here at Redcrest, everything is amped up. I mean, this is for all the marbles. It's the biggest event. It's the Super Bowl. It's go time. So there's a lot more pressure. These guys are the best there is. And, you know, with this format, with every fish counts and a two pound minimum on Lay Lake this time of the year, it's going to be an epic week. This is last hurrah. The last stand for the goat. It's yeah. a little bittersweet, honestly. We went through this already once last season. At the end of the year, <laughs> yeah. right? So we're gonna try to hold it together this week, but I mean it's gonna be fun, man. I've got a lot of history here, so I feel good about it. It's gonna be a great week. My last championship event, you know, I've 33 years of doing it. Again, Birmingham's such a place that has a lot of you know, you've been here as a kid, yeah, right? Yeah. So my um, first Bassmaster Classic was I here. I mean, yeah, my second classic in nineteen ninety two was here. We were we actually had a big ball in this same room. A lot of great memories here. It's, it's gonna be a great week, you know. Nothing like Red Crest, Birmingham, Lay Lake. Hopefully, hopefully. One last one last hoorah. Hoorah. I've got 43 loose combos set and ready to go. I'm gonna fish KVD style. All I wanna do is win. I wanna win. This is my last one. I wanna win. I've competed in a lot of championships, but this one is extra special for me. You know, it's my final one. It's at a place I've got a lot of history. I'm not sure exactly how I'm gonna start, you know, out there. I mean, it's gonna be emotional, but I'm really putting all of it out there. I really wanna win this one. I've spent a lot of time thinking about this day and kind of got myself prepared. So like last season, it was pretty dang emotional, you know, especially at Saginaw Bay, you know, going into the, to the final day and being in contention to win. And it, God, I came close and it, it just didn't work out. So this is my last shot. Just getting in here to Beeswax Creek. And, uh, you know, the last time I pulled in here for a tournament was the Bassmaster Classic that ended up winning. So it's pretty dang. This is pretty cool to be able to come here. And I launched here all days of practice and it was uh, uh, pretty neat to be able to come back and, and fish the same water. I practiced there. Actually, the first cast I made in the back of Beeswax cast, I caught one. I'm like, uh-oh, here we go. Yeah, we put a lot of thought and effort into it. And it's not my last, last day. I know that, I'm, you know, I get to fish at least two days. So uh, when it comes down to that, when it's lines out on the, that's when it's probably gonna to really hit me, but I've had just a, a great time. I love it. I love the sport. I love to fish. I love the fans. I'm a fan first, so this one's going to be fun. I'm, I'm pretty stoked about it. You know, the history I've had here, just pulling into Beeswax Creek just brings back a flood of memories. Just, you know, all good too. So right now I'm super excited to get this thing going. This is a man. Well, you don't get it, but you, you <laughs> dude, you don't realize. I'm sorry. No. See, I'm the one supposed to be no, emotional. No, it's my man, last you got to understand. I've been watching you since I was. I mean, I'm, I'm pops. I got him. I got this, him. no, this is my dad. Appreciate man. This, man, appreciate you guys coming. Man, we, man it we, means a lot. Guys, I appreciate, man. I'm sorry, y'all. No. He's to making this. me get emotional. I'm trying. I'm doing my best to not cry myself here, Vince. All of y'all, all these professional guys that are taking time to talk to us, we're, we're just fans, and we just we love it. It was like we were saying this morning. We don't have the ability to do what y'all do. We follow y'all on TV. We're so ate up with it, Kevin. It's, it's, man, it's, we, it, gosh, we man, appreciate it, just, it. It does my heart good. That's why we do it. That's why yeah. bass fishing fans are the best there is. And these guys too, I mean, 
It's yeah. a unique sport, man. That's it is. one of the things that that I've always loved about it is, it is. the camaraderie that we have that I have with these competitors. They're like second family to us. And good people. And when I saw your announcement last night, we were laying in bed about ten o'clock. We went fishing yesterday and man, we like my wife jumped up. She goes, he's not retiring, he's not retiring. She goes, Are you gonna meet him this morning? I said, I doubt it, Shelly. That man's gonna be mobbed with cameras and people and just to get an opportunity. Man, you don't realize. My friend, I appreciate it, man. Thank I you. I have followed you. You since. made my day. You made my day. Yeah, good luck today. I'm gonna have fun, man. Man, tear it up, dude. There you go. That's why we do it. All the way from Kalamazoo, Michigan, Bass Pro Shops, Nitro, Strike King, and Lose, a multi-time angler of the year. Give it up for KVD, Kevin Van Dam. Kevin Van Dam taking a hiatus from retirement to fish Redcrest. And he has great history. He won a classic here at Lay Lake back in 2010. Didn't pre-practice. Just came in for practice. He's going to have the KBD Foundation set up at the Outdoor Sports Expo this week as well. But so good to have him back out here. Man, I'm out here grinding away. I knew the score tracker is definitely going to start off strong. There's 50 great anglers out here doing it. But with this uh, whole game plan is, is to get kind of dialed in. I mean, we've been off the water for a day, and it's gotten gotten a lot warmer. And current slowed down. And you know, I'm trying to mix it up between a couple of different patterns where you're where I'm kind of focusing on the current, and there's enough to to help position these fish, no, no question. I fished my first spot and uh, really expected to get a, at least a bite there and nothing. So, the, you know, there is considerably less current, but there's enough to where it should, you know, be positioned in those fish still. So we're gonna mix it up a little bit and and uh, keep grinding here, see, see what we can't put together. But I had a really good practice and, um, you know, I feel good about my chances, and I'm, you know, I'm just trying to do what I think is going to be the best game plan to have a shot to be there on the championship day. So it's not going to be easy. There he is. Good one too. That's what you want right there. I missed him a minute ago. It's like a vibe jig for KVD. Three pounds, eight ounces. Three eight. There's a ton of. There's so many big spots in here like that. So it's a good start. So we started out okay this morning, you know, I mean, I had a good pattern fishing the main river, um, fishing a lot of current breaks and points and things like that, docks where, you know, these fish were set up on them, you know, when the water was really ripping earlier in practice, it was really easy. I think that, you know, I know that it puts them on the bank when that happens, and but there was still plenty of current and I thought I could make that work. So for the first period, you know, I really stuck with that and I got enough bites just to kind of keep me hanging around. Um, I did find one spot where, I mean, I would catch one every cast, but they just happened to be small and non-scoreable. The couple that I did hook that were, were big enough to put on the score tracker, 
I unfortunately didn't, they just were biting funny and I just couldn't keep them on. So, you know, I spent two periods really trying to make that work because I had so much confidence in it. And the third period, I just said, hey, look, I have got to just change it up go shallow with these warm conditions. There's got to be some large mouth moving up, even spots thinking about spawning. And um, man, I just never got into anything with these conditions that, that I felt good about. I just, just never got around them. So, you know, tomorrow we've got some different weather. Um, I'm gonna tie on some, some different baits and totally change things up because I'm, you know, so far behind that with this format, I've really got to do something completely different. I know what I'm doing is not, it's not going to work any better tomorrow. So time to pull up stakes and move on. So the boys got me these new Nike Air shoes, custom KVD colored ones just for Redcrest. And uh, after the first day, I'm a little disappointed that I didn't do better for them, but man, I dang sure looked good. After a day like today, it's really good. That's why I have that right there because it's easy to get down, uh, and get mad at yourself or have a bad attitude and, and there's nothing positive, nothing good comes from that. So uh, we're gonna put, a, put our best foot forward. We're gonna go back, get our tackle rigged and get a good game plan and get after it tomorrow. So we decided to set up a reservation here at Top Golf. It's right next to the Sheridan. It's convenient. Uh, you can get a reservation. We got our family here. My my brother and sister-in-law, Johnny and Erica are here. Sherry, our friends at Cutshaws that are helping us with the KVD Foundation booth. Um, and our boys are in route too. So we're gonna have some good food. We got a reservation. We got time for all of us. We're gonna hit a few balls. Tough day on the water. So, you know, you go and you go to Top Golf and take it out on a golf ball. I'm impressed with myself right now. I am too. You built it up like it was going to be bad. No, I'm pretty horrible. My family is super competitive and they do take great joy in anything they can beat me at. It doesn't matter if it's Texas Hold'em, cards, bags, golf, anything. I think it all came from my mom. My mom was very competitive in anything she does, and that's probably what made me the tournament angler that I am, is my mom's, you know, genetics for sure, so. And obviously, you know, Jonathan didn't miss it too far either, so he's really good at golf, and he takes it real seriously, so I just need to spend more time at it. Now that I'm retired, uh, you know, maybe I'll get a little more time at it. I have a lot of friends that, that golf a lot, but um, I literally go, I might go once a year. And, uh, but when you come to a place like this, just with a bunch of people, it's, it's, it's a lot of fun, so, and that's what it's all about. So driving down here today, I'm sitting here thinking, and I had a tough day. I mean, today possibly could be the last competition day of my 33 year career. So that's pretty heavy. My wife sent me a text this morning that I just couldn't, <laughs> I mean, I got my contacts in and I about washed them out. It was, it meant that much. So in my family has been so instrumental in what I've done and that was so timely, especially after yesterday, for her to say that she, she's my number one supporter. Um, the boys are as well, and it means that much to them too. It's it's been her whole life, and it's just uh, it's it's pretty dang special. So today, I'm just going to go out and enjoy it. I've done this a really long time, and you know, in the beginning you're not supposed to be able to, to do what I did. Everybody said, well, you can't do that, but I just didn't, I didn't know any better. If you believe in yourself, you can accomplish anything. That's why I say it's all about the attitude, and that's what I've always done from day one. And uh, you know, you have good days, you're gonna have bad days, but there's, 
There's never any reason to dwell on negativity. You know, I mean, over my career, you see me lose a big fish, you don't see me throwing a fit, breaking rods, cussing, doing things like that. Yeah, it hurts, but there's nothing you can do to bring it back. So you gotta use what you learned there to turn it into a positive. It doesn't matter, and everything in life is that way. If you look at things as a negative, nothing good is gonna happen. If you truly believe that you can accomplish anything and you put the work in, you absolutely can. And that's what I've learned in my lifetime. You know, it's what I try to teach my boys and that's what I try to live by. From Kalamazoo, Michigan, representing Bass Pro Shops, Nitro, and Strike King, known as one of the greatest of all time, Kevin Van Dam! So we're here at Redcrest for the Thunderbolt Ball. So this is just a fun evening. It's where we celebrate the Angler of the Year and just, you know, all the sponsors, all the staff, the wives, anglers all get together and uh, we have a pretty good time. It's a fun time. So this morning on the way to the lake, my wife hit me with a really special text that just really got me. So tonight we're at the Thunderbolt Ball and she has no idea that, and I didn't either. I didn't really know they're gonna, they made a special video for me and then they also did a special one for my wife, which I, I had an idea they were gonna do something, but she doesn't like to be in the spotlight. She doesn't like to do anything like that. So I'm gonna get to get her back a little bit. We'll see if she, uh, she hopefully she needs a few tissues. I just can't thank my family enough. My wife Sherry, there, she's uh, you know a huge part of what we've been able to do, and she's a huge reason that I've been able to have the success that I've had on the water because she's so good off the water. I can't thank enough again um, my wife because she's the last person that's ever looking for. For any accolades, she doesn't like to be on camera. You don't see Sherry. I, I have a hard time finding pictures of, of me with her, um, you know, at a lot of these big moments. You know, we've, we've got some, but she likes to just kind of sit back and, and make sure that, you know, my, my tie's straight and, you know, my tackle room's organized. We were talking about that at dinner tonight, but she's the reason that I'm here. And, you know, we're a team. Uh, we've been, you know, very blessed in, in our life to, uh, to be able to have the experiences that we've had and to, and to meet the people that we have. We've made a lot of great friends. I had no idea they were, you know, putting together that video or anything like that, but I think they got one that we put together for my wife as well because she deserves. <laughs> 
she deserves um, she deserves most of the credit, to be honest with you. So. Sherry, it's an absolute honor and privilege to recognize and celebrate you tonight. Your dedication to Kevin, your family, and the fishing industry have been such an incredible inspiration to so many. Thank you for all you have done and all you will continue to do. Just remember, there are no ends or beginnings, just transitions that take us to our next adventure. You're an inspiration. Happy journey, my friend. Sherry Van Dam. I know you would prefer to live life behind the scenes, but not today, friend. Everybody knows that you are the glue that keeps the KVD empire together, keeping him on track and organized and booked, um, but you're still an amazing mom and a genuine friend while doing it. I will never forget the first time that I met you. You had scooped up a bunch of confetti from the classic stage after Casey won, and you hand delivered it to me, whom you've never met in your life, but that's just you always thinking of others. You're the first one to organize sending flowers when there's a tragedy and you're there for every life milestone. You are always celebrating everybody's wins. And, you know, I'm just so thankful that I have you as part of my village because, you know, everybody knows that it takes a village in this lifestyle to keep your sanity and to get everything that needs getting done done. And I'm just grateful that I have a family like yours to do that with. So just wanted to say thanks because taking care of everyone, as you know, is a thankless job. and. You deserve to take a second and pat yourself on the back for a career of doing the impossible, which is holding it all together. We love you so much. Sherry set the standard for what it means to be a pro bass fishing wife. She's a positive influence. She's a great friend. Personally for me, she's a great travel partner. She showed us that we should be doing all those behind the scene tasks that we can to take the pressure off of the guys so that they can get out there, focus on what they need to focus on. She showed us just to be a support team behind them. I don't think Kevin Van Dam could have been the greatest angler of all time if he had not had Sherry. So Sherry, thank you for setting the bar so high and showing us how it's done. And most of all, thank you for being my friend. My favorite advice from Aunt Sherry. She once told me, everything you do matters. I remember that often while taking care of things at home during fishing season. I also try to pass it on to our kids. I often tell them, everything you do matters. Working together as a family makes it all possible. Congrats Uncle Kevin and Aunt Sherry. My sweet friend Sherry. It's been whispered that Sherry Van Dam is the most powerful woman in bass fishing. No arguments here, my dear. But more importantly, you are one of the kindest and most thoughtful ladies I have ever known. My family cherishes the memories our families have made together, and we are so excited for this new chapter in your lives. So take it from the old wife of a retired angler. The best is yet to come. I love you, sister. Sherry. Wow, I mean, I, I think back where we started so many years ago, just what an amazing journey it's been with you as my teammate. You know, I've had a lot of success and I get a lot of the credit for it, but without you, none of it, none of it would be possible. I mean, you don't like to be in the limelight. You don't want to be in the spotlight. You never want to be on camera. And therefore, most people don't really understand what you've done and what you mean to not only me, but to our family. I mean, the job you've done raising our boys, um, I'm so proud of, of them and everything that you've done for all of us over all of these years. I just can't tell you how much that I love you, how much that it means to me for to be that, that rock, to be that person that's always there. I mean, no matter what happens. And, and we've had some, some of the greatest highs and, we, and we've had some really tough moments as well in our family, but through it all, you're my number one. So I love you so much. And thank you for being who you are. You're the best.
So mission accomplished, you know, Sherry had no idea that that video was coming and I really didn't even know either. They just told me they were going to try to do something special. It's so important to have all the wives be recognized and not just wives, but significant others, girlfriends, because it, it's a total team effort out there. And Sherry is without a doubt my number one teammate. So glad to see her get very emotional like that. Here in the Expo, there's been a lot going on. You know, yesterday was a great day for me to be able to meet so many fans. We had a great day for our foundation, raising funds for conservation and, and kids fishing initiatives and things like that. And again, just got to see so many fishing fans. I mean, this jacket has got it all going on. She's got bling, she's got T old t-shirts, they cut the patches off, things like that. The saying, it's all about the attitude. Everything KVD, and if you turn around looking at the stars on the side, it's just a one-of-a-kind custom jacket that uh, we put together or for Redcrest. So. Each star is a representation of either a classic or an AOI title. So, Got to have a lot of stars, man. Proud of it. So we're here at the uh, Kevin Van Dam Foundation booth and we're having a happy hour. So Yeti's a great partner of mine and they worked with us to where you can get a Kevin Van Dam Foundation cup and a beer for $25. And all the proceeds go to our foundation to support conservation and, and kids fishing initiatives. So it's a, it's a great way for us to you know, help showcase the foundation and again, raise some, some well needed funds. We're trying to do really good work for the future of the sport and this is a great way to do it. So thanks for all the support. Yeah, you want, you want to tell the story? Well, if you let me tell the story, it's it, going to sound it, it's a lot gonna better. It's going to be more like a scratch. Yeah, it was, it was more than a scratch. It probably was. All right, you want to know the story? I'll tell it briefly. The quick version. The quick version. Basically, I had a tough day on the water. I hopped in my truck. I'm trying to get my trailer. I'm trying to get out of there. You know how it is. He's trying, trying to, to back out of a parking spot. I and I happen to be parking next to you. Now, to my defense, Kevin was the only one who parked truck out trailer in. So when I look to my right, I see no, no truck right there. It looks like it's an open spot, right? I didn't look at my mirrors. Don't ask me about that. <laughs> so I'm backing out and I'm like, oh, I can cut it because there ain't a car next to me. So I cut it real hard and I gas it. Well, needless to say, I stopped, but I didn't have my foot on the brake. I'm going to just say that. Is that fair? That, Kevin? Hey, it's your story. <laughs> <laughs> it's your story. Kevin basically had to get a new truck. You called me. Yep. Deathly, you, you were maybe intimidated at all. Bad, Am I, I'm bro. not intimidated. I was a rookie, I was a rookie that year. I was a rookie that year, so I, you know, and I hadn't met formally Kevin yet, so you just don't know, right? I mean, this is the GOAT, right? And so I don't want to meet the GOAT like this. And now I had to get his number from somebody else. I call him up, scared to death. He's about to bite my head off. And I'm like, Kevin, I'm a mean guy. And I ain't know this. But look, for y'all watching this, it's really cool. Kevin, I, I've never felt better damaging somebody else's property after talking to Kevin that day. He made me feel really good. He's like, look, man, stuff happens. Don't worry about it. Let's just change insurance information. And it was one of those deals where we had back-to-back -back tournaments. Nothing too. you can do to fix it. Nothing you can do to fix it. Total class act. Straight up. I appreciate you, Ben You the man, brother. All good, man. For sure, bro. We got a story for life. Super excited to see so many people come out and just really enjoy the sport of bass fishing because in the end of the day, I'm a fan first too. Like I say, as an angler, a little disappointed with my performance here this week. You know, you really want to go out strong on your last event. You know, I had a good comeback on my second day, but just after that first day, I dug myself a, a pretty deep hole. And Lay Lake, so much history for me. 
special place. You know, I won the Bassmaster Classic here in 2010. And sometimes that history gets you. And, you know, it had me thinking about some of those areas and, and stuff. But uh, all in all, Birmingham is just such a great city, such a great venue with so many bass fishing fans that are so passionate about the sport. And that's really what I love about it. So, you know, if you, if you get a chance, you gotta get out here again. We're, we're gonna have an unbelievable night. We're gonna crown a champion here a little bit later today. But all in all, it's been special. And I just wanna say a huge thanks to all the fans that have came out, all the fans that have supported me for my whole career. I mean, it, it means a lot, you know. Even though I'm done tournament fishing, you'll still see me on my television show, but all in all, I just have so many great memories of Alabama over the years. So thank you so much for everything that you've done for me for so many years. Hey, something that we're doing that's really cool here is, you know, through our foundation, we do a lot of different things, but we're doing a habitat project here uh, on the Coosa River. So we're donating $5,000 towards buying mossback fish habitat. So on top of what we've done through what the Major League Fishing Fisheries Management Division has done, helped through this through the show, through the expo, we basically got about $12,000 worth of mossback fish habitat that's gonna be going into Logan Martin uh, Lake tomorrow morning. They're actually putting it in in the morning. So all because of that start right there. to try to win this red fest it didn't happen but the way you have changed the sport for anglers that uh, you fished against and, and new anglers coming up just an amazing presence on the water and off the water as well yeah you know I've, it's been uh, an incredible 33 years for sure and uh, and it's not over yet I you know I'm, I'm yeah I'm retiring from tournaments but uh, I'm far from retiring I'm starting a new television show that'll air on the outdoor channel the Van Dam experience you'll see that this uh, this coming January and first and foremost um, I've always been a fan, and gosh, I didn't want to uh, get too emotional, but watching that, just uh, they played that the other night, and it's, it's pretty good. I, uh, it, it gets to you, you know. I, I love this sport. Um, like I said, I started as a fan from a very young age. Uh, I lived it, and there's, I see so many. The last couple of days here at the Expo, I see all these young, young kids, young girls and boys there that are the future of our sport, and uh, man, it's just it's super bright. And, I'm so thankful to have so many great partners for so many years. A lot of the sponsors, the companies that I have on my jersey, they've been there since day one, and that means a lot. But you couldn't do any of this without having great family support. You know, my wife, Sherry, she's always uh, there on the sidelines, and uh, she doesn't like to be, you know, she doesn't want to come up on the stage. She doesn't want to be on camera. She doesn't want to do that, but she's always there working to make sure that. Uh, I'm represented the way that I should, that I'm doing the things that I'm supposed to. I've tried, you know, my whole career to do it the right way, to do it with honor and respect, and uh, I'm going to continue to do that. So yeah. we do uh, we do a lot through our foundation, um, and that, again, that's all my wife. She's the, it was her idea from the beginning. She said, you know, we've been very blessed and fortunate. We need to be doing things to give back and conservation and the future of fishing and our our young anglers our youth is is the future of that and we we need to support all that so that's what the kevin van dam foundation is we've done a lot of different things from habitat projects to stocking programs to to clean up set parks and ramps and things like that yeah you know and uh uh, on top of that, we we do a lot of uh, we do a lot of kids initiatives and things like that. Provide tackle and equipment for kids camps and fishing programs and uh, college scholarships. We do grants for that. We've done that for for a while. But just all in all, we we just we love this sport. Our whole family does. You saw the picture with my boys there with those big bucks. That was pretty. You know, we love all the outdoors. I've got my boys here with me today and my wife. Um, you know, and and we're going to do a, a grant for this local area. That's something that we were doing. So we did a $5,000 donation to Mossback Fish Habitat, and they really stepped up, and a lot of other people did too. And we turned that $5,000 into $12,000 worth of habitat that's going into Logan Martin Lake tomorrow morning. So, you know, there's... They're not making more lakes. They're not building more reservoirs. We're not getting more opportunities. And gosh, you can see just from this competition, technology's getting better, right? And we've got to, we're the, we're the best 
conservationists out there. We, the anglers, are as a group, we've got to take care of all this for the future. We all got to band together. We got to work with, uh, with our fisheries management people and with the state agencies, and we all got to work as a team to, uh, to ensure the future so that a lot of these kids that I saw today are going to have better fishing than they've all ever had. So, so we've got, boys, want to come on up here? We've got this check. Uh, we've got Steve Barton from the Fisheries Management Management Division. We've got people from Alabama Power here that run these lakes. I love the Coosa River. It is phenomenal. It was tough on me this week, but a lot of great memories. So we've got a check uh, from the Kevin Van Dam Foundation for $5,000 to, uh, to, to support this and so make sure that the future of fishing is even better. So, But beyond that, I just have to say thank you for everything that you've all done for me, okay? I... Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for Kevin Van Dam, the Kevin Van Dam Foundation and that great donation. That's what happens when you're the champion. You gotta wait. Hey, hey champ. How bad is that bad? Congratulations, buddy, man. Thank you. Oh, dude, you, I knew you were going to be tough to beat here this week, as good as you know it. But you did it every single day, and that's a tough format. Remember we talked about it the other day? So, super impressive job, man. Thank you. Thank you. It means a lot to me. Coming from you, it means a lot. Well, that's, that's already two this year, and two of those is pretty impressive. So, great, great job, man. Thank you. Enjoy it. Man, huge congratulations to Dustin. You know, I really wanted to win this, uh, this Red Crest with it being my final tournament. So, you know, this closes one chapter of my career, but man, I'm just getting started in the rest.